Hello folks. So in this video, we are gonna we're gonna actually see how to deploy your application uh, using this thing called Versal. So Versal is a platform uh, where you can deploy static sites and serverless functions. So if your application is a standard server application uh, wherein you listen at a port, uh, you cannot exactly deploy to Versal. At least that's how it looks like. So you would have to have some sort of uh, serverless functions and uh, it's pretty much uh, a bit of a different concept than uh, the usual servers. So in serverless functions, uh, you just have, uh, you know, uh, a function, yep. So uh, to put it in a very short manner, if you have not heard of serverless functions before, uh, in the usual server world, uh, what you would do is um, you would deploy your application on a single server and when you want more servers, you would deploy them on multiple servers. But in serverless functions, you don't have to worry about the number of servers. Instead, the platform that deploys your application takes care of it. So you just give the smallest piece of code uh, a function which has your business logic and uh, or just your application logic and uh, the platform will take care of uh, you know running the function whenever it receives a HTTP request um, so with that uh, small intro uh, let's get started so um, so this is the Versal uh, website and uh, so okay so maybe I can open up the Versal website in incognito so that you can see the website so uh, this is their website and uh, they give information on uh, you know what are their products so uh, you know they have a lot of uh, different kind of uh, you know solutions the core is uh, deploying uh, so they help you to deploy very fast instantly and scale and uh, you know almost require no management or supervision uh, and also mostly with zero configuration uh, so I have a sample application over here. So um, I've named it as a Versal Node.js demo application. Um, and uh, I have a simple readme. And uh, there is a folder called API, which has a single uh, JavaScript uh, file. So in this uh, video, we're, we're going to be looking at how to deploy a Node.js based serverless function. So Usually you would have something like a server.listen at port and all that uh, and you would also have some sort of a, you know request handler function. So in serverless functions you just need to provide your request handler which will handle the request and give a response and that's it. You don't need to specify anything else. So here is our request handler function in this case it's called hello.js and uh, you have request response and uh, you take the query and you have a default value and you give a response. Uh, so if you give a name it will give you hello your name and or else it will just be hello world. So I uh, have actually tried out this in my local. So uh, let me show you how that works. So uh, you need to install this uh, command line interface tool uh, called Versal. You can do this using uh, you know um, this npm install this. Uh, so npm install hyphen g versal. I've already done this, and you also need to do versal login. I have done this too. Uh, so you can find all this in the docs, wherein you can go to the versal CLI. Just a second. On uh, the platform, oops, maybe I should just not. That's uh, weird. Just type command line here or just CLI, and okay, that's a lot of things. Probably I'll put a direct uh, link to the CLI, but in short, you can just go ahead and download it from here, versal.com slash download, and you can see this. Uh, and uh, you can find the reference related to login over here. So, just so many. Hmm, that's weird, that's a lot of... Hmm. Okay, CLI... 
docs slash CLI. So okay, so it's actually present under the reference in CLI, and you can find the login over here. So it's basically just going to ask you your email ID and send you an email, and you can log in very easily. Finally, to verify that you're logged in, you can just say Vassal, who am I? In this case, I'm logged in, so it tells me who am I, like my identity, Karpas, and it you know, that's my username. So now, to deploy, you just need to say Vassal, and if you look at this whole uh, project, that's all the set of files I have. I don't even have package.json. Let's see how that works out. So Vassal, so it's asking me set up and deploy, yes. Um, which scope do you want to deploy to? Uh, Carpes 990. Um, existing project? No, it's a new project. So, project name. Um, code is located in the root directory. Yes. I mean, uh, so it has to be under slash API by default uh, for all your uh, serverless functions. So, yep. And uh, want to override these settings. So, these are settings for static websites when you have some. You know, web application to serve. Uh, in our case, it's only an API, only backend. So I'm just going to say, I don't want to override and I'm okay with this. Uh, so it's deploying. Let's actually check this URL and see what it says. So it's actually deploying deployment duration. So it's done. So it's actually finding some log file and all that. So since I don't have any. Uh, package.json or anything it's just built on its own and now it's ready actually uh, and now if I click uh, the root will actually take you to a website like this which will serve all the your files um, and if you just do slash API slash so API is your backend slash API which actually directly uh, connects with your slash API over here and then uh, your endpoint is actually the name of this file so slash hello uh, and you should get hello world so that's your serverless function uh, and if you have a name over here let's say karupaya uh, you would get hello karupaya so if you have not tried out serverless functions before i would recommend you to try this out and learn about serverless functions uh, so Versal actually has uh, support for different languages for serverless functions. So you can go ahead and check out their documentation on this. So their languages, support languages are currently uh, Node.js, Golang, Python, Ruby. So in this uh, video, we saw Node.js, this example, exactly. Um, and you can use JavaScript or TypeScript, actually. And uh, there is Golang, and then there's Python, and then there's Ruby. So, and uh, it also gives a lot of information about what you have uh, access to in terms of the, uh, you know, request and response. So, these are basically uh, Node.js request and response, the standard HTTP request response. Uh, you can find that all that information over here, the request and response, um, under the serverless function subword languages. So, it's the standard and uh, there are some helper functions that... Uh, Vassal provides so you can check it out um, and uh, probably in a different video I might uh, talk about uh, Golang or Python or Ruby but uh, for this video I just wanted to give you a gist of how Vassal deployment looks like um, along with a serverless function uh, using Node.js so I guess it was pretty easy and that's all I had to do to deploy and there are other ways to deploy too so you don't have to really use your command line to deploy. You can also deploy from your, uh, you know, uh, graphical user interface, this web app. So you, uh, th these are my projects over here. Um, so this is my dashboard. You can actually import a GitHub project and like, you know, connect your GitHub project and like deploy. You don't even have to access the command line like this. If your uh, GitHub project is already all set up and the code is already there in it so yep so that's all for this video and if you have any questions do comment and uh, see you in the next video bye bye